On Tuesday, the Fed announced another $500 billion support for short-term bank funding. The U.S. dollar continued its rally on Tuesday, but earlier during Wednesday's Asian session, it saw a bit of a pullback. Meanwhile, we found out that the U.S. retail sales dropped 0.5% in February, and the Canadian manufacturing sales were down 0.2% in January, the fifth consecutive monthly decline. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we will be looking at Canada's CPI, New Zealand's GDP, Japan's national CPI, and Australia's employment change on top of all the coronavirus developments. So it will be a busy day. On the charts, I'm looking at the Kiwi dollar pair, which confirmed below the key support level of 0.62 and is on its way to 12-year lows of 0.58 and potentially even 0.49. These levels were last reached during the 2008 market crash. For many investors, shorting the markets could make sense if you think history is bound to repeat itself. Now, do you think the Kiwi dollar pair will drop to as low as 0.49? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.